Finally, that hobo has gotten rid of all the tackiness that was on that door and instead has chose to invest wisely upon his liquor cabinet selection. We have some fine citrus vodka, some royal orange. Ooh, let's see here, what else? Oh, some sweetened lime juice and for some tart, sparkling cranberry juice. Oh, wait a second. I can drink civilized and have cosmopolitans and drink like a civilized person. Oh, wait, I'm speaking to you, you beyonds, you you shack dwellers. Yes, for I'm the one, only, and most esteemed Dr. Tom. And I'm, I am here to provide you, you plebeians, a truly educated wrestling perspective. So you know what, before that happens, the most civilized thing that some of you people shall ever hear hit my orchestra. Yes, I, the one renowned Dr. Tom, and I am back to give my predictions about true event once in a lifetime occurrence that happens every year it is the w world wide entertainment wrestling summer slam yes world world wrestling entertainment i now forget what it means it's just WWE. It used to be the World Wrestling Federation. I guess it is World Wrestling Entertainment now. Bah! So we shall start off with a true contest of skill. 20 men enter. One man leaves. We have, the, we have a miniature Royal Rumble. And my prediction to win this most esteemed event the one, the only, yeah, L.A. Knight. Yes, that shall be fun and entertaining to watch. Indeed. Then in a true match of martial superiority, we have Ronda Rousey versus her protege, Shayna Baszler. Indeed. Shayna Baszler shall get the better of Ronda Rousey. Yes. And then in the most hard-hitting, violent match, we have Gunther, Mein Ring General, versus the man from Scotland himself, Drew McIntyre. Cannot see them taking the most prestigious of all championships off of Gunther. No, Gunther retains his belt for another time. Then, the only thing that I can term of the sheer physical prowess, the agility, the power, the timing. Yes, in my match of the night. The magnum opus. No, not quite that. But yes, we have Ricochet. King Ricochet. Prince Ricochet. Ricochet. Versus Logan Paul. 
Logan Paul has not won. So my prediction with my wrestling foresight is that Logan Paul wins again in spectacular fashion. Then a match that you could kind of pass aside for it's gone by the way. A little long in the tooth we have from the land of the rising sun Asuka versus wrestling royalty Charlotte Flair and then we have versus Bianca Belair and a triple threat what that means to you ingrate so there are three people yes buying for the same title You know what? Charlotte Flair, wrestling royalty, shall prevail. But alas, I might be refueling, might be remixing myself another delicious cosmopolitan. So yeah, just take a nap during this match. Then we have Seth, a man who has a middle name of Freaking. What kind of middle name is that? Like I, Maximilian. It's my middle name. But now we have Seth Freaking. Rawlings versus a prince. Prince Devitt. Prince Balor. Or some may simply know him as Finn Balor. Finn Balor wins. Again, keeps things interesting. Then the Judgment Knight and teases a dastardly Damien Priest who does have that briefcase that allows him to cash in on anyone, any champion at any time and challenge them to a match. Deceit, deception, That's all his modus operandi. And then, in my stone cold lock of the night, you have the American Nightmare, the grandson of a plumber who has risen from the common stock to become true professional Cody Rhodes taking on the most brutish man simple farm man a hunter in Brock Lesnar Cody Rhodes will be victorious and then and more than likely the main event has been challenged the gauntlet has been thrown on the ground. The face has been slapped by the glove of the beta. For we have the tribal chief himself, even whom I acknowledge. And I am un unworthy to speak the name of Roman Reigns versus, of all people, his cousin. His blood, the progeny of his uncle's loins, J. Uso. Oh. For a family divided cannot stand, as Abraham Lincoln once mentioned, to paraphrase one of the greatest leaders of this nation, this nation the United States of America. But in order to do that in this most uncivil of civil wars, Roman Reigns shall remain Jay's, Jimmy's, yours, and mine 
tribal chief. So Roman Reigns prevails and brings end to this strife. Yes. And again, those are my predictions. Maybe more matches. It's only Thursday. Although, they're going to have a predilection to add things at the last minute. This is a very healthy card. Indeed. So again, on behalf of Hobo Tom, is off somewhere amongst commoners doing whatever commoners do. I'd like to thank you. A tip of my hat for watching this esteemed YouTube program. Please continue to show your support. Like, share, leave a comment. And again, this you'll see his reactions while I enjoy his finest imbibements. On Saturday, I think it starts at 7. Yes, 7 p.m. before the sun falls down as I watch the shadow grow longer on the sundial that I've set for me. Again, thank you everyone. Have a good night.